And now a question from Mikael. Hey, it's a, it's a huge honor to, to speak to you. Um, I'm a freestyle skier, and I do a lot of flip and, and twisting, and um, spatial orientation is, is huge for me. Uh, I have to be very good uh, in the air, but I use the gravity to make sure I land on my feet. But once you're at you know, uh, zero gravity, you're in space, uh, how is your spatial orientation impacted? <laughs> That's a very good question. You know, <laughs> initially when you come to zero gravity, you're very easily disoriented because your brain is missing the information of where is up and where is down. You still have the feeling that you're turning, but you kind of lost all absolute reference of what's up and what's down. So initially it can actually make you a bit nauseated, like being carsick. And then after a while, it's as if your brain decided to forget about gravity that's not there anymore, too bad. And all you have left is visual cues. So if you notice, looking around here, we made walls. We decided to have walls that were vertical and a floor and a seating. And this is all abstract. Everything that's written on the wall is written the same way, up and you know, the writing up, so that mentally we know, looking around, which is up, which is down. But other than that, there is no way to tell. If I close my eyes and I slowly tumble, when I open my eyes, I mean, I'll be surprised which way I'm pointing because I don't have that gravity reference coming from the inner ear. It's been disconnected, if you want. And when I come back to Earth and gravity hits again, I'll have to relearn to use the sense of gravity to hold, because I won't be able to use that sense to stand up and I will be very easily tipped over. I have to hold someone's hand or hold someone's shoulder to walk for the first few days. So yeah, we, we kind of adapt to it in a way. We, no gravity, too bad, forget about it. Let's use other things. It's mostly <laughs> what we see. <laughs>